Tonight, we begin with an exclusive story from the Freeport Container Port. CEO Alan Dixon has resigned amid serious allegations. Just last week, ZNS News reported that a team of auditors from the Hong Kong head office arrived on the island to investigate a letter from employees raising concerns about Dixon's leadership. Our Raven Davis is standing by from the company's headquarters and joins us live with the details. Raven. That is correct. Our ZNS News team was the first to break the story. And just days later, we can confirm that Alan Dixon, the chief executive officer of Freeport Container Port, has resigned. Now, this development follows a detailed letter from Freeport Container Port employees, which outlines serious allegations of nepotism and questionable business practices. Dixon's departure comes after some three years into the role. It's as if a burden has been lifted up off of my shoulders and for the people who work here at Container Port. Employees of the Freeport Container Port sending a correspondence to ZNS News from the Human Resources Manager on Dixon's resignation. It reads, Mr. Alan Dixon has resigned from his position as CEO of Freeport Container Port and Freeport Harbor Company effective immediately due to family reasons. We take the opportunity to thank Alan for his valuable contributions and wish him future success. While the reasons behind Dixon's resignation leaves much to be desired in a recent community Communication employees say they do not rejoice in his sudden departure, but regrettably, under his leadership, employee morale and productivity were at an all time low. Now it feels like there's hope, and the people now look ahead with anticipation of what's to come. But they don't even know the amount of people quit because of mental and verbal abuse. We only ask whoever takes the helm, remember that the company's greatest resource is the employees, and they should be treated fairly with respect and dignity. The letter sent to various government officials back in August alleges Dixon overspent and appointed his daughter to a position previously held by Bahamians. It also claims a foreign engineer was hired without the necessary work permits and that some government officials allegedly received gifts to expedite immigration-related applications. PLP Chairman the Honorable Fred Mitchell now questioning who will succeed Dixon and what steps will be taken to ensure proper leadership and accountability moving forward. It would certainly be our view from the progressive of a party that the next step ought to be the hiring of a competent Bahamian who will run the facility and uh, carry out the objectives which the company said it was committed to. Just last year, the FCP's decision to lay off 20 Bahamian workers at the Freeport Container Port was reversed following the swift intervention of Prime Minister Philip Davis. Mitchell says that's the foundation of the PLP, to stand up for the Bahamian people. One thing you can say about the Progressive Liberal Party is that they act on behalf of the upliftment of the people of the country. Now, once again, according to the HR department, Dixon's resignation was due to family reasons. However, earlier this month, an investigative team, including international auditors, compliance officers, and additional officials from Hong Kong were assembled to further examine company practice. Now, of course, this is a story we will continue to follow. But for now, reporting live from Freeport Container Port for the Bahamas tonight, the Northern Edition, I'm Raven Davis. Back to you at the desk, Ramiko.